Hey, KSL gets customers. Thanks a lot for buying the humidor. You, now that you've got it, now this is the digital humidor that I'm gonna be talking about today. Uh, but now that you've got it, I wanna show you exactly what to do with it. First thing to do is open it up and smell that beautiful cedar. Wonderful. Uh, next thing is you wanna take a look at the warranty card. Now, obviously our website with instructions is on the back. It's probably how you got to this video. If not, um, it's on there. The second thing is there's warranty information here. If you want to go to caseelegance.com slash warranty, you can enter this code. Not only will we plant a tree for you if you enter this code, but you'll also register the product for warranty information. Very important, please do that. Uh, next we have the humidifier. Now this is in most low end humidors. And I can tell you that through our experience and our research, this product, uh, this particular humidifier is not very good. And I'm just gonna open it up for you and just kind of show you exactly why it's not very good. Much broke it there, but basically what you can see is inside here, uh, it's just a sponge um, and kind of a crappy sponge at that. You, you basically just dip it in the water, it fills up with water, and then it tries to keep uh, humidity inside the box. Uh, the problem is, is you have to fill it quite often, maybe once a week, once every two weeks at most, I would probably, maybe even every three days, depending on what kind of climate you live in. So our solution to that problem is this little thing right here. And this is the Case Elegance Gel. Now this is our proprietary blend. So basically you put water in here and obviously you want to use distilled water uh, if, if you can. You want to fill the water to the, the fill line here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to add humidity to this thing, add, add liquid to this thing, which is going to cause it to expand and add humidity to the box. And we found that this will last for many years. Uh, and you know, obviously you have to refill it once every few weeks, once the, you'll see the solution start to dry up and shrink again. So you'll need to refill it, but this will keep, make seasoning your box and keeping the humidity much, much easier. Um, so what, what I would do initially is I would fill this up to the fill line here. I would set it into the box. I would also take a wet sponge or a wet rag um, and just kind of wipe down the interior cedar of the box so that it's nice and damp. The, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the box moist uh, so that you can build that humidity up and then let it really soak into that wood. So if you want to use this, you're free to uh, just dunk it in the water. You can uh, attach, this is 3M sticky, just kind of put it on both sides and you can stick it right on the lid there. That's what that's for. Um, this, this is really nice. Um, and really we're one of the very few humidors who do this, uh, include the digital hygrometer here. Basically what this thing does, tells you what the humidity, the relative humidity is inside the box. And it's really easy to attach and just peel this off. It's like a magnet. Uh, you can stick it right onto the box there. Um, so you're gonna wanna stick that right onto the box and then you're going to want to close the lid and after you've done the wiping it down and keep it closed uh, and give it a few days give it a few days and then kind of open it up and check um, and just see what the humidity is what really what you're looking for is somewhere between 74 and 85. Um, if it's at that level then great you can um, put your cigars in close it up i would go ahead and refill this it doesn't hurt to have this in there all the time uh, and keep the water line where it's at, it won't hurt anything. And in fact, it'll just keep that humidity in there. You wanna really keep your cigars somewhere between 65 and 75, keeping in mind that this thing is gonna be about three degrees off of true relative humidity. So if it's like 68 or 72, uh, you know, it's in that range, right? You're not looking for an exact number, you're more looking for is, is it about right. Um, obviously, what you don't want is a 47 or a 52, uh, which is going to dry out your cigars, or an 80% humidity, which is uh, going to cause your cigars to get overhumidified. So that's pretty much it. Um, for, for this box, it's really simple. We've taken a lot of time and energy to put that custom solution in there for you, to put the digital hygrometer so that it's really easy to season and really easy to tell if your cigars are at the right temperature. Thanks a lot.